At the time we're recording this video, we are in the first week of January. By the time you're actually going to be watching this, it's probably going to be second week of January. But nonetheless, we are over a month out from Valentine's Day. But I believe that you should be starting your Valentine's Day sale right now. And in today's video, I'll be sharing how and why you should already get ready for your Valentine's Day sale and what you should be keeping in mind when preparing for that next spike in sales and the first one in Q1. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at Wozo Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simple e-commerce growth. First things first, I don't know if that video you would have already seen it by now or if it's coming up in the next few days, but I recently just recorded a video that talks about the seasonal low, right? January is a very low month overall for sales. Again, people have ruined their wallets in December and they don't have any more money to spend as of right now. But, but, and there is a big but once again, the only thing that they're missing usually is a reason to buy. People don't buy in January, not because they don't have money. People can always find money. Would it be through a stimulus checks, through credit, through afterpay, whatever way people and your customers are able to find the money, but they are missing in January an incentive to buy. Because let's be honest, why would you buy something in January besides if it's for a birthday, right? There's literally nothing happening in the entire month of January. Holidays are over. So again, you're already a little bit fatigued and you, you've spent quite a lot of money over the last few weeks then there's no big holiday or, or, or special event. There's no Mother's Day. There's no there's no Easter. There's literally nothing. It's the dead middle of winter for the entire Northern Hemisphere. And what better incentive to buy than buying a gift for a loved one? Look, Christmas and uh, Black Friday and like people somewhat feel obliged to buy. Like they, they, they think that they need to buy stuff for, again, would it be their cousin, their, their children? Um, it, they have to buy for pretty much everybody in their life. But Valentine's Day is a very special holiday because people are looking to buy a gift for one person and that is their, their spouse, right? That is their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, but it's actually their life partner and that involves a very strong emotion, which is love. Now, with that being said, yet again, a lot of brands are underestimating the time that it will take to ship products and also to get content. So we've had one of our clients wanting to start that sale on the last week of January. So I think it was January 26th that they wanted to start their uh, Valentine's Day campaign. And we told them like, no, start it earlier because literally to get it or to start it on the 26th would mean that people have less than a week to buy because we have to have a straight cutoff date because we know that it takes at least a week in order for people to get the product in time. So if people don't get the product in time, there's no points in actually advertising it for Valentine's Day, just the same way that for Christmas, we have to stop the ads a couple of weeks prior to Christmas to make sure that people would get their items in time. So considering that most brands will have to establish a cutoff date that is somewhere along the lines of the 6th of February, so you want to be running a promotion for at least two weeks prior to that. So if we go two weeks prior to February 6th, that brings us to January 23rd. Now, if the ads start running on January 23rd, I don't know if you're running ads yourself in the house, or if you're working with an agency, but like us as an example of the agency, if we want to get just general ad contents and get all of the ads, the copy, the strategy ready, it takes us at least seven days. So that would actually, I'm looking at the calendar right now on my screen, and that would actually put us on January 16th. That's not if you want to get UGC, because if you want to get UGC, yet again, you have to talk to creators, you have to ship products to creators, take or calculate the time that it would take to get the products back. So again, that would put you back to January 9th to actually start thinking and prepping for that promotion. And it's funny to me how like so many e-commerce owners or so many people within the space don't even foresee or plan for that. It's, it's like the event is coming up and then we'll, some clients even sometimes will, will send us a message very last minute like, hey, events coming up, you know, we need content. Obviously like it's not really happened. It's not really an issue anymore at all with the agency because we've set expectations so clear from the start and we have like a pretty set calendar system with all of our clients. So. It doesn't happen often anymore, but like back in the days, that used to be like a very recurring issue where the clients would come in last minute, you know, three, four days before the event be like, Hey, I think we need to do like a last minute promo. It's like, well, yeah, of course we, we told you a few weeks ago that we should do it. You said you would think about it and now you want to do it a couple days before, like it doesn't work that way. You really need to start planning in advance. And as mentioned in one of my recent videos, I'm a very big advocate of getting ready in advance because worst case, you just have some free time on your hands, you know? What's the worst that can happen? Let's say you get ready on January 9th for the promotion and finally UGC content comes in early. Um, your, your, your agency actually produces the contents and the copy and the strategy early. You don't have any revisions to do. Okay, cool. It's mid January and you have your content ready and everything good to go. 
perfect. Just gives you more time actually right now on your hands to do something else because you're already good. That's a box checked out of your list and you're moving on to something else. And to touch back on one of my first points I made in this video, Valentine's Day doesn't have that many ad angles to attack. It's somewhat of a quote unquote easy holiday periods because literally it's all about gifting. It's gifting to a loved one pleasing a loved one, making your girlfriend happy, making your wife happy, making your spouse happy, whatever that is, it's about it's it's a time for gifting and expressing love. So again, you are like, it's it's all in one emotion that you want to evoke within that it's the feeling of love, you could also flip it around. And it's, it could also be advertised in the opposite, the feeling of not being loved, right? What if that other person does not receive a gift? What are they going to think? Right? So all in all, it just revolves around a singular emotion, which again is love. And in my opinion, love is the most powerful of all the emotions that you can play with, with marketing. People will make a lot of irrational and emotional based decisions when love is involved. You see that a lot with marriages, people overspending like crazy on a marriage because again, it's, it's made out of love. Why not spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on my marriage on my wedding day? But if you know, I, I love that person enough, right? Why not buy like a super extra ring? Because you know, again, you love that person and totally valid. You love that person. How can you quantify love with money? It's quite hard. Again, that's actually is an angle that you can potentially give. So I could go in depth about a, a full list of ad angles that you could take. But if you're selling luxury products, adopt an angle where love cannot be quantified. So that's like a, a very good kind of angle or, or area to attack if your products are a little bit more expensive. If your products are somewhat inexpensive, I'm talking about stuff that's below $200 um, in, in terms of AOV, then you got no problems. Most of the time, like you can just advertise that with, with the Valentine's Day angle, and you'll be good to go. And before I leave you one last little nugget is you can also attack the angle of friendship or community or sense of belonging during that time period, because not everyone is going to be in a couple or in a relationship. But should they be missing out on that sale and promotion just because they don't have a partner? I don't think so. There's probably another way to do it. So we have a consumable company that we've been working with for a while. They're selling actually popcorn and they have um, a they have this bundle, which it basically comes with a puzzle and it's spirit infused popcorn. So it's very good for a date night as an example, but it's also equally as good for a night with friends or a night with the family, right? So it can also be used during that time period. Valentine's Day could be also for sense of community, enjoying that day with a friend, enjoying that day again with your, as an example, let's say with your mom, with your, your dad, right? So it's a very good time to also play on that sense of community. With that being said, to be one of the first to know about these upcoming videos about extra e-commerce marketing tips, I invite you to check out the description down below and join our free Facebook group. Answer all of the questions prior to joining the group. There's only three, but that allows us to only let in the people that fill out all of the questions, showing higher intents and giving a higher quality pool of members within the group. So we've been able to eliminate pretty much all of the spam out of the group and you have direct access to me to ask any questions that you have in regards to your e commerce brand and paid advertising. Last but not least, if you are an e commerce brand owner watching this video and making at least $50,000 a month with your brand and you want to hop on the Valentine's Day bandwagon and hit it off great for that first promotion of Q1 and also check out the description down below and book in a very short demo call with our team fill out the pre call questionnaire watch the pre call video and you'll be all set I'll be more than happy to meet you on that call and share more about how we help our brands scale through performance, creative, speed advertising and offer mastery. On that note, make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e commerce marketing tips and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.